Turning now to a disturbing act of violence in Vermont that's now being investigated as a possible hate crime. A 48-year-old Burlington man pleaded not guilty today in the shooting of three college students of Palestinian descent over the weekend. CBS Zero Burnett reports that when law enforcement arrived at the suspect's door, he said, I've been waiting for you. Are you Jason Eaton? Yes. Shooting suspect Jason Eaton is charged with three counts of attempted second-degree murder. Mr. Eaton enters a not guilty plea to all three counts. Authorities say Saturday night, as the 20-year-olds, all of Palestinian descent, were walking down this street, two wearing kafiyas, traditional Arab scarves, the shooter allegedly stepped out from a porch and fired four rounds, injuring all three. One man sustained a spinal injury. Although we do not yet have evidence to support a hate crime enhancement, I do want to be clear that there is no question this was a hateful act. Family members have identified the college students as Tassin Ahmed, Kanan Abdal Hamid, and Hisham Awatani. Two of the men are American citizens, and the third is a legal resident. Police found a pistol and magazine of bullets during a search of the suspect's apartment, which is across the street from the crime scene. ATF tests have since connected that firearm to the casings that were recovered at the scene of the shooting. Rich Price and Roddy Tamimi are uncles of two of the men. Tamimi says he's struggling with the decision to bring his nephew, Kanan, to the U.S. from the West Bank. We figured it'd be good for him to be here. It would be safe. We feel shame and betrayal almost in the sense that we sent him here with the hope for all of that and something so tragic occurred. Now, one of the three young men has been released from the UVM Medical Center, which you see behind me. The other two, CBS News can report, remain together in the ICU. Meantime, if convicted, the suspect faces 20 years to life in prison, Nora, on each of the three counts he faces. Errol Barnett there, thank you.